Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to walk you through the entire process of sending a verification email to a registered user using the Laravel framework. I am going to cover all the steps from setting up the necessary routes and configuring our email address inside our app. So let's get started. So first thing that you need to have is a registration user interface where we can register new users. If you don't have that, make sure to watch my video which is linked in the video description on how to create a login and registration system in Laravel. As next, what we are going to need to do is we need to go inside the model user. And then inside here we are going to have to uncomment the must verify email at the beginning of this file. So let's uncomment that. And then after that, we're going to have to add the implements must verify email at the class user. All right, so once I'm done with that, what we need to do is to configure our email address inside the environment file. So let's go inside the .n file. And as you can see here, we have our default mail settings. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to have to replace them with our email configurations. For the purpose of this video, I am not using a real email address, but I am using MailTrap instead, which allows us to create a test email. So let's head over to the MailTrap. And inside here, we're going to have to create a test mail. So let's go to the email testing and add inbox. I'm going to name this test mail. Click on save. And then let's go to the settings. And here as an integrations option, we're going to have to use the Laravel 9 plus. So let's use that. And then we'll have a code generated. So we're going to copy that code. And now let's head back to the end file. And inside here, I'm going to replace this code with the code that I've just copied. And then as next, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to register our first user. So let's head back to the Laravel app. And here I'm going to name this user Jarvis Codes. The email address is going to be something like jarvis at gmail.com. And then I'm going to set a password. And then I'm going to click on register. As you can see, we're getting an error, which means that the route verification verify is not defined yet. So we need to define that. So let's go back to the web.php file. And here, as you can see, we have a line of code auth colon colon routes, which generates for us different routes that are necessary for the login and registration system. To be able to see them, we need to go to the terminal and type php artisan route list. And then we'll be able to see all the available routes as you can see, we have routes for the login, logout, password, and register. So what we need to add is the verify. So for that, we're going to have to add something inside the routes method. And this is going to be verify, and we'll set this to true. So let's save the file. And then what we're going to do is we're going to list all the available routes again. So as you can see now, we have the verify route listed. So if we go up a bit, you can see that we have the email verify twice. All right, so now let's go back to the Laravel app. And as you can see here, the Jarvis Codes user has already been created. So if we go to the database, and then inside the users table, as you can see, we have all the users that we have created. So I'm going to delete both of them first. And then I'm going to create the user again. So let's name the Jarvis codes. Let's set the password again. And then hit on register. Now, as you can see, we are getting the you are logged in notification. So if I would go to the database and refresh it, then you will see the email verified at is set equal to null. But if we go to check our inbox, and as you can see here, we have already got an email which offers us to verify the email address. And if you would take a look at the receiver email address, then you would realize that this is the same email address that we set to the user that we have created. 
but there is still something that we need to do. We need to show on the web page that the user is not verified and then he has to have the option to send the verification email address every time he wants. To do that, we need to head back to the VS Code and on this route, we need to add the middleware verified. Now let's go back to the web app. And here, as you can see, we're getting the notification that we need to verify our email address. And we have also the option to request another email verification. And as you can see now, we are getting a message that says that the verification link has already been sent. So let's go to the mail trap and check our inbox. And as you can see here, we have got another verification email. So let's click on verify email address. So now we are getting only you are logged in message. So if we go to the database, and refresh the page, you will see that the email verified at is set equal to a timestamp. So that is for today's video on how to send a verification email on registered user in Laravel. Leave a like if you found it helpful and subscribe if you want to hear more from me.